Amal Kumar and in this video we will learn how to represent complex numbers in the form of a diagram. Question here is represent z equals to 5 plus 3i on argand diagram. Now argand diagrams are the diagrams where the vertical axis represents the imaginary numbers, the horizontal axis represents the real numbers, right? So the horizontal axis will write the real numbers and the imaginary numbers will be represented on the vertical axis. We need to represent the complex number z equals to 5 plus 3i. Now 5 is the real part and 3 is a coefficient of imaginary part, right? So let's say, uh, let's write uh, marks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So this is like 1 for us, so this is 5. That's on the real side, on the imagined side, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is, this mark is third. And this is the 0 for us, correct? So 5 plus 3i will be, we have to move 5 units towards the real side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then go th 3 up, 1, 2, and 3. So this point here represents the complex number so this is how we could do it, right? So this point here represents z, which is equals to 5 plus 3i, right? So in rectangular coordinate, we can also write this as 5 comma 3. Is that okay? So that is how you can represent. The magnitude of this it represents 5 square plus 3 square square root. So this length uh, will be equals to 5 square plus 3 square square root, right? And we can actually find the angle also, right, which is not required anyway, by finding the theta. Let's say this is the angle phi. We could actually find the angle phi as tan inverse of the real and imaginary part ratio, which is 3, the vertical side over 5, right? So that's another thing. But anyway, if I write r and theta, that will be in the polar form. Correct. We are not getting them there, but this is how you could represent the complex number 5 plus 3i. Now, a question for you. So, we already have the complex number z. How will you represent the conjugate? How will you represent the conjugate? Can you answer me that? So, how will you represent conjugate of this complex number? Conjugate is the sign changes, it becomes 5 minus 3i. Is that okay? So, what will happen? So, conjugate, you see it is 5, the real part is same. However, the complex part becomes minus 3i. So, it's kind of a reflection on this side. Do you see that? So, so the conjugate will be reflection on the real axis. Okay, so it will be kind of like this. Correct. So I'll leave that to you, but it's good to understand that in your diagram, you can represent the conjugate of a complex number by reflecting it on the real axis, the horizontal real axis. I'm Anil Kumar. I hope that gives you a good picture. Thank you and all the best.